here. So a couple weeks ago, I had a, a really close call rigging out the last top on a big, sketchy silver maple. Uh, the rigging point failed and a 25 foot chunk of log tore right off the tree. And uh, no one was hurt, thank God. But uh, I just wanted to give you some, some context before we look at the video. So we have this contract at uh, one of the biggest cemeteries in town. And uh, like a lot of cemeteries, they have trees that have been not been taken care of, have been neglected for some time. And this, uh, this was a big 80-foot tall silver maple. And as soon as I saw it, I said, there's no way I'm climbing it. Too sketchy. So we decided to bring in a big spider lift. A 60 foot spider lift, which is really cool machine. I never used one before. But uh, we set up really right beside the tree, really close. And as soon as I got up to the top, I just had a feeling in the back of my mind. I didn't like it. I couldn't reach the uh, the crotch on the tallest top, which meant that my very last cut at the very end would would be taking a top that was bigger than I would normally take it. So, but we just started started taking it down, piecing it down, rigging almost everything, and then to finish, we moved the machine around to the backside, hoping that we would be able to reach a bit higher on that last top. But uh, it didn't change anything. I could only make it up to the same same height from that side. So. I just said, screw it, I'm going to hope for the best. Uh, not my best decision. So take a look at this. There is some explicit language. The last top on this big half dead silver maple. And this top has a huge ugly hanger in it. Splitting the load between that spar and this one. So I'm tied up there, half hitch keeper, and my knot. Ripped off our rigging point. Holy shit. So you can see how shaken up I was in the video. I could barely put the saw back in the scabbard. It's pretty wild. So the ultimate irony is this you know, we rented a spider lift to make things safer and ultimately what I ended up doing is something that was more dangerous than I would have normally done if, had I been climbing. I would have never taken the top there if I was climbing. I would have climbed higher, would have taken the top in two halves. Now there are things that I could have done and should have done. The, uh, the porter wrap should have been rotated more around, around the, the trunk to put that stem in, into uh, compression better than it was. We could have used the fishing pole technique up up and down that stem to try and spread some of that load around. But I mean the bottom line is the top was just too big. 
you know it's uh it's like i always say go small and go home instead of go big or go home right and, and you can't play games with physics like that right i mean physics is unforgiving physics doesn't care how many times you have gotten away with it in the past it doesn't matter it doesn't care how many tops you've rigged out successfully from a tree with physics it's not personal it's just business so you know I, I ignored my gut and I made a bad decision but thankfully no one was hurt and I learned a valuable lesson and uh, showed me just how how easily complacence can catch up with you so it gave me a greater awareness and uh, as well as a teaching video so overall you know I'm actually glad it happened just because no one got hurt I really am it taught me a lot it was scary but uh, ultimately I'm, I'm glad that it happened so if anyone can learn anything from watching this I also have a, an article where I explain more in depth about this and uh, it's pretty interesting so check that out so until next time climb high work smart and read more tree mugs out